Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 23, I believe it is, of Super Mario RPG. I am in a very good mood right now, and I'm so ready to record this. Hopefully that's the makings of a good recording session, so here we go. We're pretty sure Mr. Mustache can't break in here, but that turtle looks pretty mean. He could be trouble. What do you mean, Bowser? He's no big deal. Come on, Mario just completely destroys him in every single game he's ever in, pretty much. Alright, go- oh, Bowser? You, you know, for a big turtle, I think even you should be able to do this by yourself, like break down this door, but no, you need help from your arch enemy. God. What kind of an evil turtle Koopa Troopa are you? Yep, yeah, they keep calling him a turtle too. Isn't he a Koopa Troopa? Ow, watch what you're doing. Great. Now I've dropped my shoes, my ring, my brooch, and my crown. How the hell did you drop all that? Like, how, how do you drop your shoes? Like, did they just come flying off your feet? Like, magic? I guess it's not unheard of in this game. There's plenty of magic in this game. I digress. Booster, I, um... Don't bother me now. Okay, everyone. The bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. What's this? What? 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 That sounds like what I was about to start doing there. Water? Coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? Nom nom nom. Tastes salty. Booster, sir. Uh, I I believe the br my the, the the bride may be uh, crying. Crying? But that's what people do when they're sad. I well, I, if I were marrying you, I'd be sad too, Booster. You need to treat me very right. If you want me to not be sad anymore. How disgusting! That stuff must be corrosive. It tastes like the sea. How do you know that, Booster? Have you ever eaten the sea before? Well, I'm sure you have. I've eaten the sea. I believe she's crying because she has dropped some of her wedding gear. You know, metal gear. Aha, of course, she has dropped her gear. But those tears will ruin the cake. Make her stop. The cake's not even in anywhere near her, dude. It's not even in the room. But Mario's already in. Booster, sir, I have to hurry, hurry and find her things. We have to get on with the wedding. In the meantime, perhaps we can do something about the cake. Ten four, good buddy. You'll find your stuff. I'll move this ceremony forward. Hurry. Booster, sir, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on your left. Just testing. Oh, well, that's kind of a cool little thing that is threw in there randomly. They didn't have to like do that proper wedding etiquette thing or whatever. Booster, sir, I found the ring. Cool. Booster, here's the brooch. Is it brooch or brooch? I don't know. I'm just going to call it brooch, because that's what I've heard before. It's Brewster, sir, I found the shoes. Hey, wait. Wasn't there one more thing? Uh, yeah, the crown, but from her sprite, it looks like it's still on her head. Okay. Okay, get this stuff back from the princess and save Princess Toadstool. If you do this fast enough, i.e. before two of these candles light up, be or before more than two of these candles light up, because the candles are going to start lighting up as you collect these things, and if more than two light up, then... Well, you'll see. If you're quick, something good just may happen. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Okay. Ho oh, ho! I'll give. I'll look for the last one. You go give this to Booster. Got our shoes. Okay, that's one. Uh, dude, 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 dude. Thank you. I'll go look for the last one. You give this to Booster, and we get our brooch. And wait, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. They're like on the exact same spot. That's not fair. Hey, there we go. Okay. Thank you. And the crown is actually right on Booster's head, so collect that and give this all to Booster. Booster, Booster, thank you. I don't know if I did that fast enough. I, ca I can't tell from here. God. Hey, you're Mario. So, you've come to crash my wedding, I presume? Yeah, me and Bowser, too. What up now, buddy? You're finally here. Whoa. You can jump like crazy, Peach. Why don't you do this? You can jump better than Mario. Shriek, what is... Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I've got bigger fish to fry. I know I'm no I know I'm in good hands. No, wait, what? <laughs> I gave Toadstool to Bowser voice. Wow. I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, Mario's getting some Oh wait, what? Bowser, what do you want now? You're gonna kiss him when I'm the one who saved your skin? You didn't do that jack shit, Bowser. You broke up a door. With Mario's help, I might add. Me too, I want a reward. Yeah, you, t you totally deserve a reward, because you kidnapped her. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. 
Mario, let's start with you. All right, and here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, no! I didn't do it fast enough, and I can't kiss my Bowser. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, dear. <laughs> huh. So, now Toadstool and I are allies. I nev I'll never live this down. What the? Oh, my God. Now that's one for the scrapbook. Okay. Yeah, if you do that fast enough, then you actually get the kiss from Toadstool, and then Bowser and Booster kiss each other. It's kind of ridiculous. And if you do it really slow, then both Bowser and Booster will kiss Mario. It's it's really kind of hilarious. I might show that off in like a bonus episode, or maybe at the end of this episode. I don't know. I'll show it off at some point. The Chancellor's waiting for us. Oh, the Chancellor. I forgot all about it. Hey, that's a cool organ in the background. Look at that. Like, oh, well, kind of cut off, but there are like mouths coming out of the pipes, and I don't know. It's kind of cool. Neat design. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Yeah, see, three candles lit up. Oh my god. We've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. Here is the cake. But where are bride and groom? Where is everyone? This is big trouble. The bride is leafing? You're taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat the cake. What? This can't be. We worked all... Oh, wait. That's the apprentice. Oh, well. We worked all day on it. You fools! And we get tossed into a random boss battle against... Tort. Er, Tort and his apprentice, I suppose. And the cake? How can we fight a cake? That's just ridiculous. It's not even alive. Look at it. It's not doing anything. It has kind of a face, I guess. But whatever. Yeah, so there's Tort and Tort. So I don't know why they're both named Tort, even though clearly only one of them was. Okay, the secret to this battle now is that t you cannot attack either of the Torts. They, if you do, then it'll do zero damage. Trust me. So you have to attack the Bunt. <laughs> nice Bunt cake. Okay, and uh, I actually did some research before this battle, and I found out that the Bunt is resistant to basically everything other than normal attacks, and uh, it's weak to jump. So, use jump on it, and other than that, just attack it normally. It has 900 HP, so brace yourself for a pretty long boss fight. Or maybe not. We're doing over 100 damage each time. Okay, super jump, Mario. Boing. Oh, God, that sucked. Oh, well. Still did it over 100 damage. That's just how weak it is to the jump. Stop it! Yeah, go wave your fist at someone else, dude. Doo-doo. I, I just call him doo-doo. I'm so immature. I meant to say dude, but oh well. Okay, let's try a better super jump, Mario. I know you can do better than that. Not bad at all. Whoa, the cake just kind of toppled a bit there. But yeah, sorry I was silent during that. I was trying to concentrate. Poke, poke, poke. Move faster, pokey! Ouch! Ouch! What are you doing? Chef Tort, the cake's moving! Or rather, it was moving. Get your tenses right. Was? This... It's not moving. Back to work. I know it was moving. Yeah. Whatever, buddy. It's not like it's alive or anything. That's just ridiculous. Well, it moved again, but whatever. Uh, I don't know why the cake's weak to jump of all things. I think it would be weak to fire more, because, you know, a b no one likes a burnt cake. Ouch, ouch. Now what? Chef Tort, the cake's moving. Talk no more of this. No, really, truly. Why would I lie? Because you are idiots. Idiots. That's the best reason to lie about anything, because you are idiots. Z, it is not moving. Or is it? Huh? The cake's alive! Run! And there you go. Tor the torts are gone, now it's just the bunt. See, I was right. Wait, is the cake really alive? Okay. Blow those candles out. Hey, oh. Yeah, see, now the cake can actually attack you. And oh, Wait, listen to this. Regardless of 
the fact that that puts you to sleep, that is an awesome... Whoa, you could... You cannot attack three times in one turn, buddy. That's just... Unfathomable. Okay, um, you know what? I... I actually had a failed recording session of this a little while ago, and during that recording session, I couldn't for the life of me take this guy out no matter how much damage I did, so I'm going to look up really quick about like blowing those candles out like it said, just to be sure that I do this right. Alright, just a moment, please. Alright then, guys, um, I looked it up, and apparently last time I fought this guy, I actually wasn't doing anything wrong. You're actually, you just, I guess I just, you just have to attack it until it's... I don't know. I guess just uh, keep on attacking until the candles all go out. Okay. O okay. So um, I'm just I was looking for something to wake up Mario, but unfortunately I don't have any such thing. Um. So Gino, you're just gonna go ahead and, and attack the bunt. Sweet. Yep. And Mallow, I'm actually gonna get you. I'm gonna start a little bit of a trend here now, where I start doing psychopath on the bosses. Because, I don't know, I just like to see their thoughts sometimes. I can read your mind. Mind freak. Here we go, and... And... Oh, congratulations. Yep. Basically, when those two... I don't know if I already said this, but when the two spotlights line up on the enemy, that's when you press Y. To... Oh, God. So much magic, dude. Jeez, how can a cake be this magical? Okay, um... Yeah, and as you can see, the Psychopath Ultra revealed that it has zero HP left, which obviously means that we... I think that just means that you have to keep on hitting it until the, all the candles go. There's one. Okay, uh, Gino, I'm gonna have you use HP Rain on... G I mean, did I say Gino use HP Rain on Mal? I meant Mallow. You, you know what I meant. Okay. Alright, ow! Ow! What the hell? No! Okay. Um, well, Mario's still asleep, and Mallow's kind of dead, and all oh, the candle lights back up. That must be why I was having so much trouble. Okay, um, back, okay. I need to use a pick-me-up here, so that I'm not alone, That so that Gino's not alone in this endeavor. Okay, and Mallow, just go ahead and attack, I guess. Sweet. Okay, drain beam, oh my god. How much powerful magic can this thing have? Gee, no, you're gonna kill Mario. No. Okay. Um, Gino. Uh, I don't think the Gino. No, I didn't. No. Ah. Okay. I don't think like the Gino boost really do anything here because we're not trying to like take down its HP or anything. It's just. Okay. Um. Okay, just so that we can have all our party to start, so we can actually start doing a dent in this guy, because he just keeps relighting his candles every turn. Or his candle, rather. We're gonna, uh, bring this guy back to life. Bring Mario back to life, I mean. Okay. Oh, fuck you! Oh my god. Sorry for cussing, but this guy is just annoying. Okay. Now, everyone attack him, and it looks like we're probably gonna run overtime on this battle. So, um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that happens and we have to like go to a different part right in the middle of this battle. I'll try my best just to uh, make it a smooth transition in editing, but I probably won't do an outro or anything. Okay, diamond saw. Erg. Yeah, I'd actually say this is one of the harder boss fights in the game. Like, just in my opinion. You can have your own opinion, but that's mine. Okay. Um. You know, I'm just gonna keep attacking him, honestly, because I just want to get those candles out. And oh, sandstorm! I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay. And now, I'm just going to attack him twice more, and he should be. Those candles will be out. There we go. I think I'm gonna end off the episode there. So thank you everyone for watching. Oh wait, no, no, no. He's still going. He's still fighting strong. <gasps> Did I just let that happen? Okay, guys. Um, That's the end of this episode. I showed you how to get all those candles out and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just end it off here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. God damn, how...
I'm so careless.